So one of the things I want to do with the videos this year was instead of just focusing on guys like Billy Gibbons, Eddie Van Halen, Jimmy Page, all these established icons, is I want to focus on newer players as well and kind of the future, the, you know, the next generation of Guitar Hero. Now, the first player I want to talk about is Marcus King. I'm not going to make these episodes very long. He is an incredible guitar player. He has just a plethora of different styles that he's mixing into his playing. So aside from being an amazing guitarist, he is an amazing singer and songwriter. So his reach as a musician is going to be very, very wide. He's young, he's like early 20s, and I think he's just going to be one of those next guitar heroes, that next generation that's going to really lift guitar playing to the next level and inspire a bunch of people. So I'm going to show you the lick that he played that I was just like, what was that thing? And then we're going to bounce on out of here. Check him out. Really cool music. Now, before we get too far into the video, if you guys would, subscribe, keep hanging out with me, and link down below, we're giving away this Les Paul. So make sure you enter the giveaway. You've got a couple weeks left on this one. And uh, yo, 60 standard, this thing is sweet. So back to the video. So in that clip that you guys just watched, he was playing, he's playing pretty fast. He's playing a lot of stuff. The whole phrase. But when he did this section right here, my ears instantly perked up. I'm like, all right, what was that? That's pretty cool. I mean, the whole thing, and he really takes off and gets going. But this little section here, the reason why it reached out to me is it's a really cool way of outlining a chord. So the whole thing is kind of based out of this G idea. And we're basically just outlining the one chord. But what was fascinating when I started learning it was that it's this huge chromatic idea. So he's going like this. Look at that. That's what he's playing. I think he's moving down here. The camera kind of pans away from him and it goes completely out of focus. So I couldn't see his hands, but the notes. Goes right there and he, like I said, he does it pretty fast. So he's doing it faster than I am. So you're gonna go from 11th fret and you're gonna slide up to 12. So the 12 is what we actually want. You can think of this if you're in the key of E, that's your flat five. You're gonna go up to 12 and then you're gonna play 13. Right there, you're doing that twice. And this is a total like, you know, jazzy blues thing to do. You start behind the note that you want to actually play and you slide into it, that half step little. You can do it all over the place and add a lot of that flair and kind of flavor to your playing. So he starts off with this idea. Now, like I said, he could be reaching up higher and I just, you know, couldn't really tell where his hand was at, but I went back like this because it sets me up nicely for the next part of the lick. You're gonna go to 9th fret on the highest string, then to 10th fret, and then you're gonna go to 11 again on the B, but you're bending it this time. So a very similar concept of we're not actually going for that 11th fret on the B string note, we're playing it to get to that 12 again, but instead of sliding, he's bending. So that's why anytime you learn stuff like this from players, is you wanna focus on the concepts that they're incorporating in there. It's more than just the lick. It's all the little things that, you, that are kinda of happening behind the scenes. Now here is kinda of cool because we have a finger roll. We're gonna go 12 on the G, 12 on the D, and then you're gonna to go to uh, 10th fret on the D. So, and then the, my favorite part of the whole thing. <laughs> I love that so much. We're gonna go eighth fret, slide up to nine and then 12 on the G. Not an overly complicated lick, a nice way to get back to that one chord, or in this case, the G. You could very easily move this to go over all the chords. Go up, and so that's going over your four, go up to the five. You know, move it all over the place. So it's a really, really cool lick. Bluesy, soulful, it's got it. Sweet Mariona, long as I've known you, 
All right, gang, I think that's gonna do it for us here today. Like I said before, if you have not checked out Marcus King, check him out. He's got two albums out, lots of really cool music, all these amazing live performances. He's one of those guys that's even better live than he is on the recording. So check all that stuff out. Hope you enjoyed the lick, it wasn't too difficult. It's kind of just a fun little thing that you can add to your, your arsenal. And I'm a bouncing out of here. Make sure you enter the giveaway, win the Les Paul. And uh, we're gonna end it bluesy, Marcus King style. Is that, is that how we do this? I think it is. <laughs>